Look at my girl, eh? You look so good, honey. Oh yeah, and you too. I missed you so much. <laughs> Don't tell me this is Donald. Yes, mom. Baby, make the woman you've been sticking with on phone for over a year now. The pleasure is all. You're welcome. How are you? <laughs> mom, you're not owning me. I'll I'm jealous. <laughs> See, a lizard in America can never become alligator in Nigeria. Olai, you think because you open the door in overseas, you can't try for Nigeria? Ah, ah. <laughs> Olai, this is Nigeria. Wow. whole world, retired General Daniel Sindokiri, and Dad, yeah. meet your son-in-law, the man you've always wanted to meet. I see. <laughs> he wouldn't be needing an introduction. That's the lucky man I've been talking with on the phone. Thank you very much, sir. Ah, oh, come on, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's good. Yes, sir. Son, welcome, my son. Um, honey, isn't our son-in-law handsome? Yes, he's as handsome as the smile on the face of a, a victorious platoon commander. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Ah! You trust that our daughter here always mm -hmm. go for the best? Yes. I am sure this is going to be the wedding between Miss Beauty and Mr. Charming. Oh yeah, you can yeah. say that again, Mom. Hey, yeah, baby. Baby, welcome to my family. Oh, once again, it's my pleasure to be here. Lizzie. Yes, Dad. Come on, take him upstairs. To freshen up. He deserves to be treated as a prince in the palace, mm -hmm. not as a buffalo soldier in the barracks. Yes, General. But Dad. You just have to come to reality that you have been retired for over 15 years. And the military terms must retire too, you know. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You can take the soldier out of the barracks, but you can never take the barracks out of the soldier. A soldier, a general is a general. <laughs> come on, son. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yes, that's good. Come on, take him up. All right, guys. Okay, baby, sweet. Thank you so much. Yes. 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 Happy is the word. I am so happy. Our daughter made a very good choice. Oh, yes. Welcome home, my love. Uh, it's so good to be here, you know. I am so happy. I am so happy. I am glad that I made it down here. Yes, I'm happy too. Um, baby, you have to remain here until after the wedding in two weeks' time. But I thought we agreed that 
I'm going to spend just two nights here and then I move back to the hotel. So what you're trying to say is that my father's house is not big enough for you, it's not comfortable. No, I, I know. I never said that. Okay? But we had an agreement and an agreement is an agreement. Okay? Okay, whatever. You know your wish is my command. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> Forever is an understatement. I will love you till life and there. Oh. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Mom. Why are you crying? Mom? You told me we are coming to Grandpa's house. Is this not the right place? My daughter. This is the right place. <laughs> but I'm afraid. Afraid? I'm afraid. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, oh Lord, anything that is making my mommy afraid, Father, oh Lord, let her not be afraid in Jesus' name. Donald, I hope you're enjoying the meal. Oh, great, Mom. Never had it better. Thank you very much. <laughs> My mom got her cookbook from heaven. Now I know where you got your cookies goes from. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Lunard, you know, father called in the morning. It has get my mind to ask him when they will be coming home for their marriage. Oh, okay, uh, my parents should be arriving in um, a few days to the wedding. Um, Dad, Donald will be checking in at the hotel tomorrow. What for? Which hotel is more comfortable and secure than the fortress of the general? Son, you will stay here where you are. Security is guaranteed. Right? Yes, yeah, 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 sir. Thank you very much, sir. Eat. You're right. <laughs> um, my parents, my parents, are they going to um, come here when we're still going to the village for the traditional marriage, right? Are they still going to come? Come on. You do not expect a general of my caliber to bow to such traditional mumbo jumbo. So you don't, you don't have to. Especially when it concerns the marriage of my daughter. So everything happens here. At my will. Wait. <laughs> Your father has not changed. He still flaunts his military stature and whatever he does. We've planned both the traditional and the white wedding here in this town. Um, that's okay. That, that saves us uh, the stress of traveling. Um, you know, to and fro to the village and then back. Um, thank you very much, General. Honey? Okay, sir. Hope ours isn't going to be a military wedding. Just a... Sanusi, what is it? Um, sorry for the interruption, Oga. Um, Oga, there is a woman and a small daughter. 
crying. They begin to cry. Outside the gate. Kumade, as a better person, when I went to ask, I said, Madam, what thing be the problem? What is it? Banu, see? Yes, Oga. Straight to the point. Yo, wa. I understand. You see, Oga, the woman said, I want to see General. You want to see General? I said, Yeah. Now you want to see Oga? You want to see General? Ha! I said, I will come tell me, Oga. Did you ask her who she is? Yeah. Did you ask her who she is, Sanusi? Um, honey, uh, I think it could be one of these corporate beggars. You know, this uh, economic recession and all that. So, it could be one of them. Are you sure this is the right place? Jenny, yes, this is the right place. But like I told you earlier, I'm afraid. Oh, you have not told me why you are afraid. Like I told you earlier, I'm scared. This is the first time I'm bringing you here. I just pray it works. I pray it worked out. Hey, fine, fine, babies. <laughs> um, Ogasi, make I give you this money. And Kumade, I have added my phone number inside. Kingare, I understand. I, I don't want your money. I need to see him face to face. <laughs> face to face. You won't go see your guy face to face. We are looking. Me the chief security officer. Now give you money. Now add my phone number inside. Come on, Now call me fine, fine babies. You won't go see your guy with madam, pa. Madam, not inside, bro. No? <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's get there. Make we see. We are going inside. Let's go, let's go. See Ogana, let's go. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. I regret my mistakes of the past. Please. Take me back into your home. For the sake of my... My daughter, yeah, your granddaughter. Her name is Janie. I remain General Denison Okiri. Retired but not tired of the military in me, which disowned you eight years ago. My discipline is my arsenal that can never be penetrated by time or circumstances. Remove yourself and your bastard daughter from my home, from my house this moment. Mom, please. Please help me beg further. Please. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry! Go and find the 
father of your child and formally present him to me as your husband to be. I am not going to let you turn my house into the barracks of bastards. I have searched everywhere for him, but he's nowhere to be found. I have learned from my mistake. Please, forgive me. I, I have had a very terrible experience living out there without the, the blessings of my parents. Forgive me. I have suffered as a single mother. Father, please have mercy. Have mercy. So, there's no cause to panic. Her body needs a lot of sleep to regain consciousness. Thank you, doctor. Also, sir, her body requires constant checkup for full restoration of her health. Well, that's all right. You are the doctor, aren't you? Uh, sir, uh, if I may ask, what really happened? Why, why is her body... Uh, blood pressure so high. Mm. She had an encounter with uh, my daughter, I mean my ex-daughter. A girl I disowned some eight years back. That's it. I, I, I don't understand, sir. I, do you have another daughter apart from the one I know? Come on, doctor. You really want me to start discussing my family affairs here? Do you? I'm sorry, sir. Do you? I'm sorry, sir. Anyway. <sighs> I disowned her. That's for good. There is no going back. Yes. I don't ever go back. Forward. Forward. No going back. Yes. Now, Doctor. I want you to concentrate on this woman. She is my wife. You are my personal doctor, my personal physician, and you know we are close. My house is always open for you, 24 hours a day, right? So please, I beg you, take care of this woman, my wife. Her health is important to me. In fact, her health is more important than Somalia Peace Mission. Do I get it right? Did you hear me? Yes, sir. That's right. That face looks familiar. That girl is so exact in my memory. I have met her somewhere before. I just can't place my mind on a particular place I met her. Yes. Oh no. I just can't remember. Just can't remember nothing. Look at this. Are you okay? You never told me you had a sister. That's something I never wanted to remember again. That. 
something you never wanted to remember. And you did not mention it to me about a year of our courtship. You never mentioned it to me. Maybe just, just take his seat so we can talk. Are you sit. Benita is my elder sister and it is just the two of us. My father decided not to have another child since my mother passed through cesarean session. He raised us with iron hands, with love, support, care and everything. We never lacked anything. But unfortunately for Benny, she got pregnant in her final year while in secondary school. Daddy got so angry and disowned her. Families and friends waited in on the matter. But my father is renowned and never turning back on his decisions even though lives are thick. So you mean your father is older just because she, she got pregnant? Honey, I've told you before, my father is a full-blooded, no-nonsense army general. So what do you think will happen when he finds out that you are already pregnant from me? Please. Do not mention this ever again. At least not even in this house. If he hears that, we are both dead. And that is why I want us to rush this marriage and return to the States. His face looks familiar. I have met him somewhere before. Could he be somebody I know? He seems to have met me before too. That look in his eyes is suspicious. I am sure I have seen that face before. Not just that face. His face rings a bell in my heart. I don't ever want to see you in or around this place ever again. This garrison is off limits to both you and your bastard of a daughter. Now get out, get lost, move. Father, please. Please, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me, Father. Please. Forgive us, please. Please, yes. I see. 
So you want to see how brutal a general can be. Wait for it. Mother, please. Useless girl, cross into this territory and you cross into a crossfire of counterattack. Sanusi! <laughs> yes, Oga! All correct, sir! If I see this kind of a thing again, you face the firing squad. All correct, sir! Oga. Scatter your nyash! <laughs> Don't try that way. Next. Let's go. Go, go. We heard a gunshot outside the gate. Is everything all right? Whenever a gunshot is heard within the territorial range of a war general, there is no cause for alarm. I am in charge. Oh, okay, fine now. Um, are you right, ma'am? Um, she will... She needs a little more care. And uh, the family doctor will be coming to look in on her regularly. Okay, sir. Come on. Just take it, easy, okay? Just take it slow, man. Huh? Slow, man. My husband, please, I beg you, let's allow her in. It's obvious she has suffered so much. Please, show her some mess, okay? What you ask is impossible. Even if you don't want to allow her in, let's alleviate her suffering. She looks so helpless and I'm fast running out of life. Go. I have never changed my decisions since I became a three-star general. Let her help herself by providing the father of her child. Honey, I'm a mother. No matter the rank of the military officer I'm married to. Enough. You know how dangerous it is to climb me further than this. Leave me now.
tout succès. Donatus and I were classmates and um, we were staying together in the same hostel before I left for the States. Um he's a private doctor, Dr. Donatus. Oh, the world is indeed a global character. With so many war fronts, where you do not make mistakes with your bullets. <laughs> so, 
What are you doing here? Yeah, actually, I and Lizzie are getting married, and um, you know, we just came back from the stage. Oh, 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 oh! So, so you are the f the luckiest man. No, no, no not man, no, dude. Oh, the oh, lucky dude. Well, <laughs> oh, what a day! The family continues. Yes. <laughs> After both of you have gone away from your barracks of friendship. You find yourself reuniting under the residential cantonment of General Danielson Okiri, retired. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, young man. Thank you very much. You're right, Dad. You're right. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. so good to see you, man. So good, you know. Wow. All right. Doctor, proceed. Move. I saw it too, but I'm not sure. I'm still confused. But what? Thank God you're here. So why are you confused? Oh, I, 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 I was. Can we just go back inside, baby? Let's go inside before they suspect something. Right? All is not well. Yes, all is not well, but you should understand that the walls have ears. Everything is listening. Come on, let's go inside. You know what? When you send out a platoon, recognizance mission, that's only Ricky, they come back to give a report. That is, they break down what they found behind the enemy line. So, break it down for the general. Oh, the situation that troubles our mind should be ameliorated as quick as possible. Or better still, you can still ask her what she wants. So we know where to start. What she wants is not an option here. So you better suggest something else. I'm not going to admit that girl back into my house unless she provides a father of that her child. I'm not going to relax. Garrison discipline at this point. General, even when your life, your wife's life is at stake here. So, court martial continues unabated. I'm not going to pardon her. Pardoning her is out of the question. Then in that case, I uh, will suggest you, you make use of the carrot and stick formula, General Sir. <laughs> All right, fall out. Kate! All work, sir! Jenny, let's go, let's go, Jenny, let's go. house. 
She will help you wash all the cars, sweep the compound, and generally assist you in every way possible in your chores. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. All correct, sir. <laughs> but Oga, <laughs> you know, see, I will be a person who, no? Will she also be sleeping in my room? Um, I mean, um, will she be my bedroom assistant? Sanusi? Yes, Oga! <laughs> One leg. <Yeah>. Up! <sighs> Go on! Sorry, sir! Yes, Oga! <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. Sorry. She will be sleeping there at the gatehouse. No. And you must ensure that she remains a maid and nothing but a maid. <laughs> Sanusi! Hey, yes, Oga! Yes, Oga! Up! Hey, Laila! Oh, sorry, oh, please. Adwaya! <laughs> yeah, wow. Thank you, sir! No buts. We have an agreement, don't we? Sanusi! Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yes, Oga. Take over. Yes, sir. All right, sir. <clears throat> you see, I will make sure I do all my jobs very well on her. <laughs> you wa Kumade, what Oga has done to get us. Must remain. <laughs> Trust, sir. All correct, sir. The gate. Correct, Oga. Take over. Tabia! How about my job, Grandpa? You will be the two I see to your mother maid. Is that understood? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Have you seen what you've done to yourself? <laughs> Have you seen it? I am very sure she's the one. But how long do I approach this matter now? For how long will I keep this secret away from the same family that entrusted me with their lives? I am trapped between the devil and the Red Sea. And the worst of it all is that Donald is not even ready to let anything out about this matter. No, no. I must do something before it's too late. I must do something. I can't afford to keep this secret now that I have the chance to let it out. Why haven't I been able to, to rest or even to sleep ever since I set my eyes on that girl? I hope what I am feeling don't turn out to be true. Do I ask 
asking some few questions. just have to go from wherever it came from. I just have to try. Try so hard to subdue it. Listen and listen very carefully. Rules number one. No flower must be taller than the other. Must be agement, the same agement. Equal. I understand. I understand. <laughs> you see, now because I be tough as you know, I know what I'm saying. Why you follow me? Now, what is this? I said, what can be this? Fine. I said, what can be this? Can't show you again, number over. It will lie. No sense at all. No sense. See, this one is called uh, worse. What do I call him? I say worse. What I say worse? Worse. Worse. You are worried. <laughs> now, now you are talking. You are, you are going to make sure that you clean the whole uh, motto. See, Madam Car, the Oga. Now, everybody, what is one pound? Killing the world cast. Killing! You understand? You understand? You understand. Yeah, wow, correct. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Um, This way. Follow me. Um, yeah, child. Ah, uh, yes, everything, everything. Yeah. Man, I hope you guys are going to turn up. Yeah, the wedding is what? Yeah, into it. Into it. <laughs> you know, no, that's a kind of wedding. You know, this that's, that's Africa. As a way with our own weddings, right? Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. You see this place? Like, like. You see this place? Now, what is this place called? Huh? I said, what thing did they call this place? Yeah. Garden. No? You said anything? It's called a garden. See, you see garden egg for ya? No? You see garden egg for ya? See, make I tell me. This place is called Pule. It's called Pule. Pule. Not be football field, though. Now, Oga, some of them Pule. You understand? Pule. Yeah, wah, yeah, wah. Come on, there. And at the end of the month, now me go bring a machine, give me. You go use them, clean everywhere. You go do. You understand? You understand. You are correct. <laughs> you know, say me I'm a tough person. I am a tough person. Thank you very well. Good advice. Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby. Are you alright? Yes, ma'am. I'm fine. Mom. Yeah. Why would that do a thing like that? Reducing his own daughter to a common maid in her own father's house. Sweetheart, we should even be happy that he allowed her into this house. You know who your father is? 
Then you should have just let the forgiveness be whole. <laughs> Did I hear you say forgiveness? As far as your father, General Denison Okiri retired, is concerned, there's absolutely nothing like forgiveness in his dictionary. So you better wake up. But even allowed her into this house was because of my health. I had to ally with the doctor to make him do that. What? Yes. Dad is really taking this to the extreme. Mom, for goodness sake, eight years, as in eight solid years of rejection is enough punishment. I think I will just have to talk to him. Hey, hey, hey. Lizzie, please. I can't afford to have this wedding cancelled. Wake up from your dream, girl. You know how impossible it is for your father to change his mind. Please, for the sake of your forthcoming wedding, do not even attempt a thing like that. Your father, retired general, Danielson Okiri, is difficult. Hi, baby. You and I know that Dad doesn't intend treating you this way. But for the irremediable military blood in him, come to think of it, do you mean you haven't set eyes on this guy till now? Or is it denying his responsibility? I can't even recognize him when I see him. <sighs> Never known him. I only met him at the party. How is that even possible? That you can't recognize the man who got you pregnant? Or do you even know his name? I know they call him Don. He was popularly called Don at the party. Don, Don. That must be his nickname. What about his, his name? As in his real name? His real name is Don. What are you doing with that maid? Good, good, good money, Dad. Did I not want you to stay clear of her? Did I not? Uh, 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 Shut up! Shut up your mouth! All you owe her in this house is order. Order! Order her! Order and order! Nothing more than order! What did I say? Order! She is your maid. Is that clear? Good! But, but Dad, she's still my... One more word from you. Now we have you sent to the guard room and blazoned and frog jumped. Nonsense. If you find any of you having anything to do with her, anything to do with her, I'm going to send her parking. Is that clear? Yes, is that? Yes. Now get out. Get out, out. Go on, move. Run. Hey, I 
gave you the best upbringing as a father. But you chose, you chose to smear my rank in the mud. I will never forgive you. I will never ever forgive you unless you bring whoever whoever is the father of that bastard and introduce him to me as your husband to be. Do you understand? Happy, happy. So why did you take that risk? Why? I thought your father warned you. He warned you to stay clear. To stay clear completely. I'm sorry, baby. I couldn't help it. Mom, she's my own sister. You couldn't help it. I have stayed in this house just for a few days. But I can predict your father. Your father is a no-nonsense man. A man of his words. So you cannot tell me that you love your sister more than your parents. They give back to her. If they can stay clear, then you should do the same. Sorry, baby. I'll, I'll try not to get too close next time. Good. So, so that you just have to try, okay? Just try and stay clear. And let's get our wedding done. Get everything perfectly well. And then we return to the States. Come back in one piece. Alright? I promise not to do that anymore. Thanks, baby, for the care. And I love you so much. Oh. I love you too. That is how much one means to each other. Right? I love you too. Benita. Benita, I, I, I am sorry. You are sorry? Sorry about what? I, I am sorry for everything. What are you talking about?
Down before you. I'm talking to you now. I come under the canal, Drew, and they kill him now. I'm asking you now. That was with you people in Somalia for the peacekeeping stuff. I don't know. Forgotten his name. That's Mimika Sa. M I M I K. Mimika Sa. T S A V. Sa. T S A V. Okay, thanks. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Peacekeeping. Good evening. And how are you doing now? I'm great, thanks. This one? I don't know why idle civilians will give military disobedience to simple medical instructions. She will get better. Of course I will. If she obeys her doctor. So, where are both of you off, off to? Um, Dad, we're going for a photo session. And after that, um, we will see the girls elected for the bridal trip. I see. All right. The driver will take you, drive you to wherever you want, but ensure that you come back in time. Right? Come on. Bye. Off you go. Bye. 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 Sorry, darling. This is your friend in army headquarters, Abuja. I, I don't know. What's that his name? That's enough. Woman, the doctor gave you clear instructions. Off you go. Retire. Go on. Yes, sir. Good. Okay. Good day, Uncle. Good day, Auntie. How are you? Hi. Uncle, can I ask you for a favor? Oh, yeah, go ahead. I like the way you and Lizzie used to behave to each other. My mom said I don't have a daddy. Uncle, Please, don't be offended. Please, can you bring one of your friends to always play with my mommy? Like the way you and Lizzie used to play with each other, so she can be happy. Okay, sweetie. Don't worry. God will provide a friend for your mommy like my husband, okay? Tani, uh, you see, with God, all things are possible. And definitely God is going to bring a man that will bring happiness to your mother. Thank you for your kindness, Auntie. Um, Jenny. Um, Jenny, did your mommy tell you you don't have a daddy? My mom said my daddy stays very far away. She promised me that I'll see him one day. <laughs> You're going to see your daddy someday. You're definitely going to see him someday, okay? Eh? okay. God is going to make it possible for you. Okay. Alright, give me that. Ten. Ten. Okay. Take care. Alright, good night.
Come on, sit. Look, Sam, and you. Oh, my God. Bye. Bye. Be mad. Yeah, what? Sometimes. <laughs> Listen, no. if if this nonsense ever repeats itself again, then my father must hear this. See, just allow me to finish first. Fly, <laughs> baby, now I know. If you touch me, if you touch me again, what nonsense is this? <sighs> baby, calm down. I love you. All. We are talking home. Talk your own now. I'm a better person. 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 If I tell you, say I love you, eh? This is a body, this is a body, this is a body. Don't see me, I'm a body, thank you. Versace, Versace, for your body, you baby. No do, no do, no do, but I'm for me. Oh, No do, no do, no do, quam, 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 quam,
no eh. Eh. Otu aisi kaka. Eh. Am na wife to go there man na tell you go na. Eh. I hope you're not thinking. No, 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 no. I'll be I'll be back shortly. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye, honey. Oh yeah. Mm. You know, I was just wondering, I are you giving any thought to what we're going to present to our daughter and her husband on their wedding day? Oh, um, not really. A lot of things are going on in my mind, but um, I'm here to settle for you. Mm. Mm. I want something wonderful. Mm -hmm. I want something that's going to break up the envy of that our wayward daughter and make her go frantically in search of that animal that got her pregnant. The animal that got her pregnant. <sighs> in that case, how about a house and a car? Mm -hmm. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. But uh, I want something they, that they will have to take back with them to America after the wedding. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay. As a matter of fact, I have started processing their travel documents on, mm. for a two-week honeymoon to Hong Kong. Hmm. Netherlands hmm? and uh, Disneyland. Wow! <laughs> Honey, that, that's a great one. Hmm. Just give me time. Let me think of something, okay? Hmm? Rack your hmm. brain. Rack your brain. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> All right. All right. Fall out. Okay. Yes, sir. Yezum. What? Yezum. Yezum. And then next time you do it with your right hand, not with, not with the left. Okay. Yes, Better. <laughs> Bye, honey. Uh. Yeah. Don, I don't know how to go about this. What if what I am suspecting eventually turns out to be true? And uh, if what you are suspecting is true, that means there's a problem here. By the way, I thought you came with Lizzie. Where is she? Um, yes, I did. We came together. She's at a seamstress shop. You know, taking measurement for the bridal train. Hmm. Don. <sighs> we are talking about the family of a brutal general. Retired. But not tired of doing the worst. That is what you are thinking or what we are thinking is true. And that is why I'm asking you to get this job done for me. That is why I want you done. I want you to do this job for me. What job are you talking about? Help me find out if that little girl is truly my child. That's the job I want you to do. That's what I want you to do for me as a friend. Is anything the matter? Are you okay? Oh yeah. Oh. What are you doing here? My parents are not home. 
What of the security man? He has gone to get the zeal. You should have called before coming. Actually, uh, it, it's you I came to see. Me? I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to talk to anyone. Please. No. Look. Look, Benita. Honestly, just... I made well for you. Just allow me to explain the reason why I'm here. I have never loved anyone the way I loved you. It's been my biggest aspiration to marry from this family. Please, I beg of you, please. Yeah, um, what's, what's happening? Oh, sir, I, I have a little problem with the car from under. I'm trying to fix it. Oh, sorry about that. Why don't you use the mechanic? Oh, I, I will do that as Can soon as I leave here. Open the gate. There you go. All right. Let me help you shine it again. I know you know how to take good care of me. Of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. Of oh, course. <laughs> What's this? Um, let's see, let's see. What's that? Uh, um, just a piece of paper, um, that was used in, um, protect the inner layer of the shoe. Okay, give me that. Let me trash it for you. Huh? Let me trash it for you. I'm not going to buy You have a package. A package? Yes. From who? The postman just brought it now. Drop it on the table. Okay. Ma. Yes. I want to ask you something. Please don't be offended. Okay. What is it? Are you my grandmother? Lizzie and Donald, 
We'll be getting married in a few days' time. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> you are Donald. Ah, yes, I am Donald. Her name is Benita. She's my sister, as well as your sister-in-law. And this is our adorable little beautiful daughter, Jenny. This wedding is going to be the most glamorous wedding ever. Oh yeah? Trust your father. <laughs> He's going to break his treasure box to make sure that this wedding is <clears throat> unique. <laughs> well, that has always been heart's desire for his children. Mm -hmm. And I pray I make that come to reality in my own part someday. Oh. I'm having your wedding with my daddy. Very soon, sweetie. And on that day, you're going to be one of the bride of train. Yes. Dressed so beautifully and gorgeously. Wouldn't you, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> See, Benny, I know how you feel. I totally understand your pain. You know, all this is really getting out of control. But why don't you just arrange with some guy out there, just any guy to settle down with, instead of going through this torture every single day? I can help you arrange for one if you don't mind. I don't want any other man. I want Jenny's father. And I know I will look at him someday. And you keep going through this pain every day? Like every time? Is that what you want for yourself? I have waited for the past eight years. I may not have to wait for one more month to look at him. Wow. You seem so confident. I wish you the best, sister. And I hope when you eventually set eyes on this mysterious man, he won't delay your marriage. I know I will find him. And when I find him, I will marry him, even if he's engaged to someone else. Yes, good one. I support you on this one. And you always have my back, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. I was moved by the heart of your mother. I, I forgot the consequence of my actions. Please forgive me. I need to be left alone now. Please. It, it won't happen again, I promise. I, I won't be moved by such dangerous sympathy again. Please. Please forgive me. It's too late. That good for nothing girl must leave my house now. Will you please, please, honey, please, I, I beg you. 
It was all my fault. I forced her to dine with me. I did. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? It was because of your health condition that I limited the number of children to two. It was because they are girls that I decided to raise them equal to men. I gave them all and more than they ever wanted. Put them in the best of schools. I gave them all more than what they want. I gave them all. I retired from the army before my time in order to give them uninterrupted father's attention. I committed both wealth and time to build a formidable garrison around their dreams and aspirations. But in the end, my giant and elephant sacrifice was given squirrel ovation by that idiot. The pride of one General Oakley was smeared in the mud of shame. Stay here and ask for my forgiveness. I will forgive only at the bottom of my six feet grave. Leave my presence now. Donatus, please help me out of this. Please just make this work for me. Don, I mean, I have not had rest. I have not had rest, especially after getting that, that note from her. Don, don't you think I'm risking my job as a family physician by getting myself involved into this? What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? Huh? We've done more, more dangerous things than this. What is this? We've done so many things, we've done dangerous things more than this. Just help me get this one done, that's it. Donald, there is nothing more dangerous of fixing the wrath of General Denison Okiri himself. Look, this is a man who has conquered the high and mighty in the society. A man who could even disown his own daughter for years and still remaining clingy to that decision. All I'm asking is for you to be a mediator, okay? Be a mediator between me and Benita, that's it. Before I stick my head out. That's all I'm saying. Come on, what are friends for? My good friend Donatus, help me get this one done. Okay? No. Just, just, just find out oh. if truly that child is mine. Okay. Okay, okay. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Cheers. It is high time I approached him instead of dying in silence. For how long will I continue like this? I am very sure he is the one. 
But why has he refused to talk to me or even share my pain? How can men be this wicked? For how long will I continue dying in silence? No. I have to approach him before it becomes too late. Mom, why are you not eating? I am not famished. Why? My daughter. I'll eat later. Have I not warned you to stay clear of my family? What gave you the animal boldness to stand before my reputable son-in-law? Useless whore. Are you out of your mind? Sir, I, I, actually she brought my, my missing phone to me. Oh, yes. You lost your phone? Yes, yes, sir. And um, she found it under the car and uh, brought it back to me. I see. That's it. That's all. And what are you still standing there waiting? What are you waiting for? Useless thief! And what are you still doing here? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Thank you very much, sir. She's actually the one that's supposed to be sorry for herself. Yes, she is. Until I get the animal that impregnated my daughter. Impregnated the daughter of General Denilson Okiri. And get him quartered. Get him slashed. Dragooned. Torn apart. Caught marshaled. Given bunny bunny. She remains an outcast. Okay, sir. Did you hear that? Y yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Sit down. Sit down. Yes, That's good. Yes. Woman needs a true love. Look, darling. Every woman needs a man that can value her more than life itself. Every woman needs peace of mind and security. Look, I am here to tell you that you are, you are the luckiest woman the world has ever seen. I love you beyond words. I love you more than you love yourself. 
Look, darling, a little space in your heart will mean the whole world to me. Please bless my soul and I'll forever make you my goddess. You shut up. Are you blind? Don't you know the truth? The only truth I know is that you are my bread. Without you, I'm, I am just as dead as grave. Making you my wife is the only thing that can resurrect my soul from the grave and pains I have suffered all these years. Please, bless my life. Don't you dare kneel down there to pretend like you don't know the secret. You men are heartless. <laughs> yeah. So are you still coming with your wife? Oh, she went to Cameroon. Oh, she's coming back before. Okay, stop. You heard me right. I don't understand. Why don't you understand the meaning or spelling of secrets? I still do not understand. Go ask your friend. He knows my sister's secrets. If you are his best friend, then you must know his best kept secrets. Did you find out that the child is true? My child. No, 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 no. I never wanted to get myself involved into this. At the first place. But you pushed me to it. Do you know how precious this family is to me? Do you, do you, do you know what I'm about to lose here? What are you about to lose? Huh? Come on, man. Don't talk about sack because nobody's going to sack you. Okay? I already talked to Lizzie and she's not going to say anything. And she might sue me here anytime soon. She's not going to say anything. And no other ear should hear this. Alright? I equally have her own secrets as well. What secret are you talking about? She's four months gone. No, no, no. The general must not hear this. And that is why we're rushing this wedding. I fear that man. I see him as a devil himself. So all I wanted to do is to rush up and find out if that girl is truly my child. That's what I want to know. I, I, I don't understand. Are you planning on getting married to two sisters? Well, I, I, I don't care. I just don't want to go back to that idiot. You know the situation insulted me all just because of you. Look, over my dead body will I go back to her? I, I know. Let, let's just go back, okay? You can just, just smile. Smile. I mean, smile. <laughs> Here, let's go. Smile. The very thought of you this morning brought tears to my eyes. I will never forgive you. 
for the shame you brought to my home. Since you have chosen not to speak by democracy, I will have you speak by the whip of aristocracy. When you are truly tired, you will tell me the father of that bastard. You have only done one hour and you're tired. Do you know how many months I spent at the Battle of Somalia dodging bullets, bombs and grenades just to earn the rank of a Lieutenant Colonel? Do you know how many years of constant battle with rebels it took me to surmount the civil war in Rwanda? just to earn the rank of a brigadier general. Do you know how long I commanded the multinational battalion across the desert to conquer the massacre in Liberia? I paid dearly for the rank you've chosen to smear in the mud of shame for eight years for eight years you've carried the burden of a bastard and the cross of a useless man yet you're not tired of hiding the truth about the animal that got you pregnant it is too late for mercy my dear victim. Sanusi, go on. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah, what do you? Pull up, jump, pull up, jump, pull up, jump. Pull up, jump. Move it. Yell for mercy. Give her more bunny bunny. <laughs>